Attention to detail in the art of shooting is all important because obviously the game is won or lost on the number of chances created. So today we look at shooting for goal. Association football is a game climaxed by goals. And goals can only be scored when the ball is in the net. And that means that anyone who wishes to become a good player must put a high premium on improving and becoming proficient at shooting. George Best is just such a player. Here we see him taking on the defence and finishing powerfully with a shot which is saved only with great difficulty by the opposition goalkeeper. In this same sequence from the same match, George again takes on the defence. And this time he does not shoot, but goes through them, draws the goalkeeper, and slides the ball into the empty net. Two aspects of shooting, both as important as the other, since both can produce good dividends. The technique of shooting is designed to hit the ball between two posts eight yards apart and under a bar eight foot high and pass the goalkeeper or whoever else may be in the way. In these shots we see George Best demonstrating the technique of shooting from a medium distance. The object in all shooting, as we have said, is to get the ball in the net and basically that means aiming whenever possible for the corners. But not only does the ball have to be kept between the eight yard apart post, it has to be kept down beneath the eight foot high crossbar, and that means striking the ball so that it travels near to the ground. The foot must not go under the ball. The knee of the striking foot should endeavor whenever possible to be over the ball. Here our young players practice just such a technique using the full goal and two small five-a-side goals. They're working in threes. One shoots, one is the goalkeeper and the other a fielder. They all take turns at fielding and goalkeeping. Now Kevin in the big goal demonstrates his shooting technique from a still ball. Hitting a still ball is the easiest of all, and here we see Kevin's foot striking the ball clearly. In this shot, we see Stephen doing the same thing. Kevin and Stephen both know the importance of shooting for the corner of the goal. They both know the importance of keeping the non-kicking foot alongside the ball in order to keep it down. They work hard at shooting practice. Shooting practice is enjoyable, especially when there is a net and especially when there is a goalkeeper to beat. Working at a technique like this does not become boring, but the technique of shooting a still ball is not sufficient. It is necessary first to master the still ball shot, but usually the ball will be in motion. And here, George Best demonstrates with a ball played in from the wing. In one swoop, he hits it powerfully into the goal using the same technique as when the ball was still, striking it halfway up and playing it through with his foot for firmness and accuracy. In addition, the shoulder of his non-kicking foot points the way towards goal. He does not allow his shoulder to open out and swing wildly round, or he would kick across the ball and perhaps miss it. Watch his shoulder in this particular shot. He points at the goal, and the ball is driven hard past the goalkeeper. Now it's Kevin's turn. 
and a good shot makes the rigging jump. Look for all the important points. Watch for his non-kicking side. In that shot, the ball was struck underneath and went over the bar. Again, his foot gets under it. But the third time is more successful from the point of view of keeping the ball down. Stephen is completely successful. His shot is tucked firmly away into the corner of the goal. Foot alongside the ball, eye on the ball, knee over the ball, and non-kicking shoulder pointing straight at the goal, or at the corner of the goal where the ball is required to go. These are the secrets of the technique of shooting at goal. Stephen again. See how his shoulder opens out and how he kicks across the ball. This error is pointed out to him and this time, concentrating on his shoulder, he strikes a much better ball at the goal. Kevin is learning his lesson and this time he is successful in hitting the corner of the net. And again from close in, although his foot still tends to go under it, he manages to score a good shot which hits the rigging. However, in the real game situation, there are opponents, and George demonstrates how to score when the ball is played into congested situations. Even under challenge, he concentrates firmly on the ball and puts into practice the technique we've talked about. The corner technique is one thing, getting into position is another, and here Kevin scores an excellent goal, having first manipulated himself into position to strike the ball into the corner of the goal. He dodges, the defender goes with him. He cuts back, accelerates towards the ball, and strikes it firmly this time into the top of the net. Our young players are well on the way towards mastering the all-important techniques and skills of striking and shooting. Right boys, just a few words now about shooting. As in all sports, uh, finishing is the most important part of the game. It's no good being able to play nice football up until the penalty area and then wasting it, it all by bad shooting. A good way of practicing shooting is just to take a lot of balls out and just keep hitting them into the net. But remember, as we said before, trying to beat goalkeepers, it's a lot easier if you keep the ball low because it's more difficult for a goalkeeper to get down. So if you keep your non-kicking foot alongside the ball, and keep your kicking knee and your head well over the ball, it'll keep the ball low. But obviously, during the game, you do have a goalkeeper in, so it's important that you have accuracy as well as uh, being able to hit the ball properly. So don't forsake accuracy for sheer power. And remember, as I said before, it's more difficult for a goalkeeper to deal with a low shot 